production costs, with the possible exception of one real estate developer's tax returns, the best kept secret in New York is what any Broadway producer spends on a Broadway musical. They're obsessive about keeping that fact hidden. Uh, they're worried about tax reasons. They're worried just about publicity. So while these numbers cannot be fully documented, when you've worked in the business and you know others in the business, word gets around. You know what was spent and you can see where the expenses go. So these are reasonable figures for the shows I'm about to mention. Anything Goes made it to Broadway at a cost of about $200,000. That was a pretty high cost for 1934. Many other shows could be, musicals in particular, could be done for about 150,000. Annie in 1976 became the first Broadway musical uh, to be a hit and cost a million dollars. Another show that had flopped had cost about that beforehand. Crazy for You in 1992, uh, that was done for just 7.5 million, just 7.5 million. Do you see how fast this uh, is running? Uh, I'm gonna ask you to hold on for just a second. I have to double check the power on my computer. Just hold on. Yep. There. I should explain, I live in a house with seven cats. And when you live with seven cats, <laughs> They do pull things out of place occasionally. They're just that playful. And there you go. All right. Thank you for your patience with that interruption. Okay, but do you see how these numbers are zooming from 200,000 to $7.5 million to put on a Broadway show? Wicked by 2003 nearly doubled that number at 14 million. And the record holder after all these years from 2011 is still Spider-Man which cost 70, that is not a misprint, $70 million. At the same inflation rate, a plain loaf of bread, which would have cost, oh, let's say 10 cents in 1934, would cost $35 today. I don't care what gourmet market you go into, if you find one where they charge $35 for a loaf of bread, slap them till they're silly. I will set up the GoFundMe page to cover your defense fund. Who's responsible for this outrageous rise in the cost of Broadway shows? That all depends on who you ask. If you ask the theater owners, they will tell you, well, it's the greedy unions and the greedy producers. If you ask the producers, they'll tell you it's the greedy theater owners and the greedy unions. And if you ask the union leaders, guess who they will blame? The disgusting part is all of them are telling the truth. It's greed. There are only 1,500 to 2,000 seats in a typical Broadway musical theater. And that's your source of income. The programs, the souvenirs do make money but it's the tickets to the show that are the bread and butter and you, can, you have to just keep charging more and more.